So what is Clear Image Zoom? So Clear Image Zoom is in pretty much all of the up-to-date Sony cameras and you can utilize it in, in many ways. The function is an exclusive from Sony, uh, I believe anyway, um, by Pixel Super Resolution Technology. I think that's what it's called. So it allows you to enlarge the image with basically close to the original image quality when shooting still images. The camera will first zoom out to its maximum and then it can go basically clear and zoom will take over and the technology will basically enlarge the image um, up to two times the original producing a sharp clear image despite the increased zoom ratio so yeah it's very very good um, at doing that it's it's quite amazing actually the other differences though so basically a little bit in depth this is what I found on the internet um, is that basically it adds extra pixels to a crop area from the sensor by interpolating their values from surrounding real pixels using complex algorithms that can work pretty well for most subjects um, but really badly in other situations so you obviously you have to pick and use pick the times you use it um, there are very similar algorithms built into resizing routines of many photo manipulating software, i.e. Photoshop and other, other programs. And uh, there's always been that recurring discussion, is clear image zoom better or worse than on, on the computer or you know it just in the camera? So you know obviously clear image zoom crops the image and then digitally resizes it. Um, and enhance it or whatever back to the 20 megapixels that it should be um, but we don't really see much use for it unless you simply hate processing on your computer and I'm going to show you how I actually do it if I need to and the reason why I don't use clear imaging very often and uh, I'll explain now don't get me wrong clear imaging is an amazing tool and if you want to use it feel free I'm not saying it's bad at all it's just a reason why I don't use it and here is me actually utilizing it and kind of explaining one reason why I quite like it on and don't. What I don't like about the clear and zoom guys is basically that's your focus point so it doesn't show you anything anymore you kind of have to make a judgment that actually hopefully it's in focus. Not so bad for something like this like a windmill but when it's trying to or lock onto a bird or something like that and stay with it. I have no idea if it's actually really in focus. I can't even hold this camera straight. Really. Okay. Um, so, you know, compared to this, which I'll show you, hang on. Now you change back to raw, and then we can have it's on wide. Go back in, bring it down. You can see the focus points jumping, up, jumping around all over the place. Obviously, I would set it at, you know, obviously where I want it, once maybe centre or something. But it just, it just helps really quite a lot. And you can upscale anyway later. It's not really an issue. Uh, but I just thought I'd have a go. Um, but to me, it feels a bit like you're not as much in control. It's a bit annoying, but if it's helpful to get that extra extra little bit of zoom sometimes, I suppose it is useful. What a beautiful day. It's supposed to be getting even sunnier, which is pretty cool. Hopefully these clouds are clearing by about 12 o'clock apparently. There's quite a bit of cloud here to move, but we shall see. Um, I'll go in the garden this afternoon where it's a bit sunnier and hopefully get some uh, birds. Oh, it's a buzzard or something. Hang on. It could be it. Right, so let's go back to clear room with zoom and see if I can get him. He's, he's flying around over there in the distance. And it just, one of the things, there we go, got, oh no, it's, it likes to hunt a little bit when it's in clear room zoom. Oh god. Yeah, that's not got quite the same. He's doing his rounds though. He's 
right over in the distance. Over there, cruising around. I'll see if I can get him in a bit. I'm going to shut this video down for a second and see if I can get him. So as I said, with clear image zoom, it does work and it doesn't work in some situations. This was a kite flying around. He was a good few hundred meters away, so it's not really ideal. I got to see him. It wouldn't focus on him particularly well in long distance. So in some respects, it doesn't work very well in that situation. It was focusing on the background. It had nothing really to focus on. That's why you can't find those focus points. It's quite important that if you can see it locking on, it makes a huge difference. So yeah in certain situations it doesn't work very well other situations it does work very well so yeah as you can see here he's flying around he's still focusing off into the distance yeah it looks okay um, but still so this shot here is with clear image zoom so you go you think oh that looks pretty good that's at two times so 1200 millimeters you think okay that's zoomed in by the way it's not the whole image and then this is the new Photoshop raw update before I've cropped in. This is already zoomed in, I'll show you the whole image in a second. But you watch, this is crazy how how well and how good the image image resolution changes. So on the right hand side of the image is the new Adobe basically super resolution setup. And this is the clear image zoom on the left. There's a huge difference. There really is. The sharpness, the clear, how clear the image is, the detail. Clear image zoom works really well if you don't want to edit and stuff, but now I've just it's just been released on the newest update on Adobe for RAW in Photoshop. So go and check it out, have a play. I'm gonna do a video shortly of how to use it. It's very easy, very simple to do, um, and you know it's it just works really, really well. Um, basically here is the full image before we cropped in. This is this one here. Just so you can see, as you can see there, it's uh, there, and um, this shot here is the original raw. So you can see the difference in size there with the clear image zoom on and off. It's two times, but obviously we are looking at the ex extreme sort of close-ups, just so you can see the real detail. Anyway, here's some of the photos from the day as well, and go and check out the video about. Um, how to use the new resolution, super resolution on Adobe. So some of these shots here, as you can see, it's a little bit of water splashing stuff. I did if you just turn around onto the beach and just uh, took some shots. Pretty cool. Um, shooting manual as usual. Um, ISO 100 and up to sort of one four thousandth of a second there. Shooting that shot. Um, F4. This shot here I quite like. It's a little bit of silhouette going on, which works quite nicely. So that was cool. Uh, again, sort of one four thousandth of a second shooting into the sun this time. This shell here, actually quite nice. I used the pop-up flash there just to add a little bit of light on the right-hand side there. So that was really, really quite a cool shot. Uh, what have we got here? More water splashing. Again, it's just experimenting, having a little play, trying to capture that perfect splash as such. And then I was shooting the groins as the water came in. This is black and white. I thought it was quite nice quite harsh but at the same time you've got the silhouettes there and uh, the next one here is the same sort of thing but shooting down with the water a bit closer um, that worked quite well um, and the same again we cropped in slightly there just for a bit more interest and again I just took loads it that's what you got to do I mean especially water you don't really know what it's going to do um, lots of splashing, you look quite cool with it backlit by the sun. Um, this is zoomed in from quite a long way away, but it looks pretty cool with the waves crashing in on the old groins there. This is pet level in East Sussex. Uh, beautiful beach, one of my favourite places actually. It's just got this charm about it. And these old groins here that uh, are bizarre actually, they're along the, along the beach. Uh, some kind of doggy here, he was getting his stick, that's pretty cool. Yeah, long distance there and there was a, a couple of crows buzzing around and you'll see the same shots twice but they're not they're actually two different birds so I was basically just practicing panning and trying to stay with the birds and stuff like that but shooting straight into the sun so not perfect idea really um, uh, pretty sharp um, but yeah sort of 1600 of a second upwards and again another 
another landing attempt onto there. Basically the same post, but I think I think it was the same post, and the other crow just buggered off as soon as he landed. And this this crow here. Yeah, no, so it's it's really, really lovely day. Really nice. A bit windy, sadly. So as you see, cute doggy bouncing around, chasing after sticks and running in the sea. So it's pretty cool. So 600 mil F4, uh, about one eight hundredth of a second. Uh, same doggy here. He decided to look at me, which was quite cool. So shooting actually into the sun a little bit there, but managed to get a shot of him. Uh, there, a little bit of raw adjustments there. This shot here, pretty cool. It's basically a shell looking through it, backlit by the sun. A little bit of sunlight coming round as a little star. That was quite nice. Uh, birds in flight. Uh, cropped in a little bit there. But it's, it was just practice guys, literally just out and about having a little play, just keeping on it, just interesting to see what kind of birds are flying around. 600mm F4, Cormorant there, I had about 20 or 30 shots of this, it worked really well and uh, he just picked the best ones, he was actually looking at me as he flew over, you can see his face there, sort of looking straight at me, which is pretty cool. Quite a big bird, you don't realise once they, until they get relatively close to you. This shot here, he literally took off as I was walking towards them. So they're very skittish some birds and this one just jumped up jumped up and flew uh, out to the into the lake uh, this i think is a reed warbler i might be wrong uh, this is really quite cool i like this the textures of all the uh, the reeds there and the bird actually just hang looking uh duck coming in to land which is pretty cool There's two shots here of this and uh, just the colors in the background just just really complement the duck um, you can see why they're camouflaged in that color um, so they kind of disappear especially the mothers, so they can hide away. Well, I presume so, that's what they do. And then back on the beach for a bit with some splashing water, sort of one four thousandth of a second, something like that. Works really quite well to freeze water. And this shot here, uh, three geese that have been flying around and actually came banking over the top of that bush behind and came round and that just, I just thought it was a really cool shot. Unfortunately, they went really low and I couldn't see them after that. This show you quite like, it's kind of triangular, it's very simple, but black and white, so I thought it was quite sort of usable, and uh, this looks quite cool. Shot f5.6, that one, a little bit extra depth. This shot here, the beach, as the tide was pulling out, absolutely lovely with a bit of sand, so that worked really well, and then shooting on low, wide angled, 24mm uh, f2.4, focused on the stone there, everything else just suddenly becomes blurred, which is quite nice, and then this little bird here, he was having a mud bath or he was actually finding stuff to eat in there, I don't know, it's disgusting. It was very, very sloppy mud and he was enjoying it anyway, so. But yeah, he was actually really quite tame. He wasn't bothered that I was only the other side of the gate and only maybe 10 feet away, if that. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty good. This shot here I quite like. It's almost like a pair of arms, like the, the thing there, but I messed up. I actually misjudged the top, so I've actually cut off the top. So, in a bit of editing, I've actually added the top there as you can see so that worked quite well it's sort of a way of getting yourself out of the uh, the doo-doo a little bit and you know regaining a shot that actually looks right now rather than not so um, it's not 100% perfect but worked quite well in all anyway guys hope that was a little bit interesting and get out with your cameras soon hopefully the weather's going to be good for you keep snapping keep posting and I shall see you soon don't forget to click the subscribe button little notification bell as well I'm just about to do a new video on the super resolution thing that came with the raw update on Photoshop very easy to use and I think by the looks of it very worthwhile I'll see you soon